Joining me today is Vanessa Frank. Vanessa is a director in our San Francisco office specializing in indirect tax. Uh, we're here to talk today about the idea of some adopted regulations by the CDTFA uh, related to marketplace sales. Um, this is regulation 1684.5, and it was made effective on August 28th. These regs replaced the uh, prior regulations that were put in place on an emergent basis that expired in June of 22. Vanessa, can you share with me the significance of these regs and what it means for both uh, California-based businesses as well as potentially businesses outside of California? Absolutely. Thank you, Brad. The regulation takes a broad approach in deeming a marketplace to be facilitating sales. Most significant of this is the regulation's definition of payment processing services. This includes providing a virtual credit or debit card terminal, integrating payment processing with an online shopping cart at checkout, or otherwise directly or indirectly authorizing or providing the means for payment processing in any manner. It is most significant to note that under the regulation, hand handling payments or providing fulfillment services are not required to trigger a sales and use tax collection obligation. This means that under the regulatory language as adopted, a marketplace may be liable for collecting tax, but also may have no awareness of the transactional data and no ability to withhold or collect the tax. Payment processing has historically been a required component for consideration of a business as a marketplace facilitator. The passage of this regulation should cause businesses to pause and consider a re-examination of their activities in California, whether previously deemed a marketplace facilitator or not. As an example, for those companies currently deemed a marketplace facilitator and collecting sales tax on transactions, are there scenarios where marketplace sellers and marketplace buyers may utilize your platform to connect and transact? and then possibly take the transaction offline for completion? Would this cause a potential liability? Companies should examine their risk around these transaction scenarios. Companies that have determined historically that they do not fall under the definition of marketplace facilitator should revisit their analysis against the newly adopted regulation. It is unclear at this time whether this regulation will be applied retroactively. For those companies who are currently under audit in California, this could have a significant impact. Vanessa, I appreciate your perspective. Could you provide me a little bit more relative to potential ramifications for companies outside of California? Thanks, Brad. We understand there are a number of other states who may be watching this regulatory change closely and considering expanding their own marketplace regulations. Generally, a broader definition of marketplaces results in more companies being required to collect and remit the sales and use tax. I should also note that there were many California-based stakeholders who voiced opposition to the proposed amendments, all of which were adopted without any modifications. I suspect, as others, both within and outside California, realize the potential consequences related to the adoption of this regulation, there may be a push to draft new legislation in California. Well, Vanessa, thank you so much for joining me today to talk about California marketplace changes. Really appreciate that. And thanks to everyone for joining us for the discussion. We look forward to next time. Thank you.